Um, today coming on to show and share, we're going to be doing something, well I'm going to be doing something for Kerry's um, art journal prompts. Um, I will leave the video of hers in the description. I usually follow it every week. I am a week behind. This is week 21. I've still got complete week 20, which I will do probably in my next video. If you don't know what it is, then it's an art journal page. You just go over and join in basically. She's got an SD shop and she's selling some handmade stencils and they're very pretty. There's faces and there's different patterns and that that she's made. Fantastic stuff. So go over and check that out as well. So let's get on with it then. So first off, I've got a piece of paper that's seven by seven to go into my journal. Please take a notice of my hands. I've been washing them all day, but I've got in-ground paint in my nail varnish and I will be taking that off after I've completed this project, but there was no point doing it beforehand. So this week is been rolled by the dice again. But lucky enough, we didn't get red or blue this time, or tissue paper, <laughs> which seems to be a lot of the weeks. We got the main colour is fluorescent, the accent colour is brown rust, the words are an event, say an event that's happened in your life or any other event. Um, I love to think of that because I still don't know. Um, and then a bird, you can use a bird, and you must use paint. So let's see what we can come up with. I've got some fluorescent paints. Um, these are the Montmartre, Mart, yeah, flu, floral acrylic paints, all lovely colours. I've got a little brayer, and I bought this. Um, puzzle piece you may not be able to see it but it's this jelly press one it supports um, autism this one says it supports wellness programs but actually on the on the side it supports um, autism I've bought this because I think it's lovely and also it's a good cause as well let's get some paint now roll that out onto it right okay so that's one so if we go that way um, I want it so I can get another one that side so it says there yes right okay and that's pulled all that off. Right. I'll bring it in again. I don't know if you can see that from there. Probably can. Let me move that up a minute and I can move this in. I'll show you as I'm doing it. I'll add a little touch of this. Oh, that's very bright. I did wipe the brayer down so we might pick up a bit of pink. Oh, where's the paint gone? <laughs> that slot if we can like that. I think I had it the wrong way around but it doesn't matter we live and learn oh look at that it's even gone orange there oh I love it that's intense I hope you guys are all right. You have to let me know what you've been up to. Um, let's get this in here. I know Betsy Doodles on holiday at the moment, enjoying herself. I said we're all going to be naughty now. She's gone away. And we. She's warned us anyway. <laughs> She's told us we've got to be good on our best behaviour. 
while she's away. Right, there we go. Right, we've got one more to go on, which is the orange. Let's try and get this one on in there. And I want to try and put some round the sides as well, so they fit. Right, let's get that orange in. That's a nice orange. It's very intense. Okay. Right, so this way around. No. Um, that way, yeah, that's the way. I can't see. No, that wouldn't go that way. But if I go that way, it's going to go over that. It doesn't fit. Oh, there. I've got it. I've got it the right way now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting it in properly. Oh, dear. It doesn't matter. It's just the background. Right, okay. Let's lift that. Yeah, we did. Just. <laughs> right, okay. Well, we've got some of the orange left on there. And I want to go in this bit. Um, and I think this would be the same bit. Let me put all that on a minute. I can go actually this this bit here, like that. Um, we've got another bit up there. I just thought I won't waste the paint, I'll just keep going with it because I've got this here. Let's see if I can get that in there. Don't know, I couldn't see then when I dropped it. Oh, yeah, it's gone over a little bit, but that's okay. Let's see if I can get some more colours on. Right, let's wipe that off for a minute. Now I've got some fluid. What is this? Fluorescent red, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see what colour that is a minute. Oh, look at that. I'm going to need a bit of that around the edges. Definitely get a bit of that in there. Oh, that's really bright, that is. I should have used that one before. Right, let's um, knock this in then. It's more almost like pink. It is quite hard to get into the bits on it. It's a lovely shape though. Right, okay. And there we go. We can't go on the pink, that'd be too much. How about ho over here at the bottom here? That red into that colour. I think that's placed. Yeah, it almost looks like that pink though, really. If we just do that, we can add it onto this side here because it's only a tiny light touch of it that needs to go on. Like that. And that's that done. Now, we can use black. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to actually. And you know what I'm going to use? A Sharpie. Give me a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Right, I've got some of these bits die cut in. Let's put that in there so it gradually sort of comes out. Right, okay, that's that in all in. Um, now, I have cut out a Tim Holtz Robin, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like a Robin, and I've painted him with acrylic paints so he looks rusty because that's what we're supposed to do is I'm going to chop these bits give me a second guys where's my little scissors right so I've that's what I've done and I've put a little 
wobbly eyeball on him. Should have done that up a little bit, doesn't matter. Um, I need the stronger glue to stick him on. So I'm going to put him down the bottom there. Leave that on him for a minute. He's got the wobbly eye. And also I've done this hummingbird, which I've also put wobbly eye. And he's got um, clear embossing, the thick embossing powder on him. So I was thinking about having him up here somewhere. And then the quote down here. Or, yeah, he's going towards the flowers. So we're going to stick him going towards the flowers so I want him to go like he's going in there like that okay guys we're back right I've got my woodies out pencils I've finished this for now and I'm liking it. We had to mix um, fluorescent in with rust. Now I've done a rusty bird. I've added a little sentiment. It just says Woodland Bird Show 7am to 11am £24.50. It's a very, very expensive event. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it's come out okay so uh i like it how it's come out for trying to mix rust with fluorescent is quite a hard job you know you don't know what you're gonna sort of mix up um i didn't realize this paint glows under black lights so I've used some of my new gel pens that was kindly gifted to me as well. They've come out excellent. I managed to do some detail. Um, I've used this Acorn VersaFine Clay um, colour. Um, I used a bit on this. I've used it to stamp the wood um, panel background on that. And... I've used it with these little dots on the background as well. So yeah, I think we can safely say that's finished now. This little bird's come out really pretty. Really nice. He's all rusted up and his little eye shakes. And the other bird's eye shakes as well. So yeah, that's great. So thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video, which should be the next art prompt. Bye-bye for now.